Hey, oh, 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 hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you ready to debate Obi? Obi is here. Eh? Man, hmm, hmm. you smell like onions. You don't want to debate Obi? Come on, this is big. Are you afraid? Are you afraid of this woman? Okay. Hey, 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 hey. My buddy, Ruben. Obi wants someone to debate her. You willing to debate her? No? You scared to? Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Maku, Mr. Maku, Labran Maku. Obi is ready. You want to debate her? Come on, get dressed. Put on something. Dress up and debate her. Don't be a sissy. They said you are a counterpart. She was a minister. You were a minister. Debate her. Oh yeah, Oga, oh yeah, go dress up, go dress up. You want to do it this way? Okay, all right. Introducing on my left, from Nasarawa State, by way of Unijos, weighing 160 pounds per lie, Mr. Labran Makul. Oh. And on my right, from Anambra State, by way of the World Bank, introducing... Mrs. Obi Ezekwesele. Today, Obi weighs 220 pounds per Holy Ghost fire. Woo! Now, I'm going to be your referee for this debate. And these are the rules. There will be 12 rounds, although I expect a knockout before the sixth round. And the decision of the judges are final. Now, shake hands. Maku. Shake, shake her hand. Don't be afraid. Come on. Go. Shake your hand. Obi, shake hands. Oh, yeah. Shake. You don't. Let the debate start. No fighting below the belt. Come on. Shake, 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 shake. shake. <laughs> Great timing. Who do we have here? The real LeBron Maku, the minister. <laughs> Mr. Maku, welcome to Sahara TV. Hello, hello, Dr. Damages. <laughs> Great to see you. Great timing, Mr. Maku. My viewers are itching to know why you refuse to debate Mrs. Ezekwesele over her allegation that your government squandered $67 billion from Nigeria's foreign reserve. My brother, we're lashy to lashy. You see, you see, now frustration the world that woman. After years of being in a bus, just bind her. She lost that, you see, you see. And again, her man left her dry. That's what this is all about. She will go down like her sister, Dora Kiyuli. All rabbit dogs are eventually put down. Allah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, if you are so sure of your bookkeeping, why are you refusing to debate her? Why? If a mad woman grabs your claws and runs while you are in the river, <laughs> you see, you see, you don't jump out and pursue her with your thing jingling in between your legs. <laughs> People will think you are the one who is crazy. Let her finish dancing naked in the street. Once she's done, we will take her down. Allah. Ha I hear you. <laughs> oh, well, well. Good timing, good timing, good timing. So, Mr. Maku, here is Obi. Say hi to Mrs. Ezekwesele. Wallahi to lie. That's not her. I swear, you see, it is not that World Bank bitch. I mean, witch also. That's the man in a mini skirt, Dr. Damages. Okay. Mr. Maku, I see that you are searching for another excuse not to talk about the $67 billion. Yes, so Mr. Maku, what happened to the 67 billion? What happened? My brother, Dr. Damages, you should ask her. She says she has evidence that the money was squandered. Let her come out and present the evidence. The burden of proof is on her. Maku, what's the difficulty in, in showing Nigerians the breakdown of your expenditure? What's, why is it so hard? Ha! <laughs> like, like. I just came back from Anambra with, from a good governor store. 
He want to make more dead bodies to float on more rivers. Ha <laughs> can it? Pure grandstanding. Damages. Want this woman for me. If she want abuse, I get her plenty, plenty. I don't want to take bullshit from anybody. <laughs> Obi, you said that you and Obasanjo left 67 billion in foreign reserve. Who does such a stupid thing when you know that Rai Yeradua and Patience Jonathan were coming in? Why? My brother, we deployed due process when Stella and Obasanjo went out of control. And she didn't cost the nation any more money. Unlike this one going around in Germany wasting our money. We paid off Nigeria's debt and set the nation on the path to grow. Now they are borrowing from all over. Madam, no shame. Don't you have any shame? What due process are you talking about? Your so-called due process was nothing but promises made to a prostitute. Is it Ngozi Okonja well, a member of your economic team? Just in case you don't know, she's the one now coordinating our economy. So what could go wrong? What? Tell me. Did you say so what? Whoa, 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 whoa. shut up there. Don't for a minute think that the dumb drug Pishama from Otweke that runs things around here in Abuja. Obi, to be fair, under Obasanjo and your due process era, $16 billion was spent on electricity and there was nothing to show for it. How is that different from squandering billions of dollars in foreign reserve? Well, I wasn't there when the billions were spent on power. I was driving from Ori to Lagos with Paso Adeboye. I was part of the miracle trip that Daddy made with an empty tank of fuel. You should ask Ngozi about the $16 billion. Yes, you should ask Ngozi or Konja well. She knows where all the dead bodies are buried. <laughs> so, you all agree that Ngozi must explain this? Nah, he's mama. You don't forget, quick, quick, she no be your co-wife. Or is it husband's wife? Whatever. You're an illiterate nincompoop. You are like former president of passenger with an XX chromosome. That's the end of round one. From New York. It's Dr. Njakiri Damages. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York. Yeah. New York is so great that we have now ended stop and frisk. Oh. Mm -hmm. Crime in New York City is so low that instead of the police stopping you and frisking you and your junk, they now use x-ray. Wow. <laughs> but trust New Yorkers, the complaint now is that we miss that personal touch, you know? Go figure. <laughs> Still on New York City, our mayor, Mike Bloomberg, just gave $350 million to his alma mater, John Hopkins University. Wow. Yeah, that brings his total lifetime gift to the university to $1.1 billion. Wow. Yeah, I know what you are thinking. Is he married? <laughs> Can he adopt me? <laughs> sorry, he's not married and he doesn't want to marry you. I'm sorry. As for adoption, he doesn't want to adopt anyone taller than him. You know, he's very short, you know. <laughs> How much have you given to your university? You. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You, you. How much? I see your head. I could see that you were a C student. That's not an excuse. The mayor was a C student too. Oloshi. Oh, <laughs> Tomorrow is Super Bowl 47. Yeah. yeah. The what? <laughs> <laughs> the Baltimore Ravens will play the San Francisco 49ers. We already know the winners. The Harbour Brothers. Oh. <laughs> The only question is whether it will be Jim or John. You don't get that. <laughs> You're not a football fan. We also know the losers. One billion chickens that will be killed to produce two billion chicken wings. Yeah. Americans are going to eat two billion chicken wings tomorrow. KFC. 
Yeah, you had me right. Two billion chicken wings. I, I saw a chicken marching to the slaughterhouse the other day. And, I, and he said to me, I had no chance in hell. So I might as well hand myself over to them. <laughs> <laughs> so two billion chicken wings. How many does an American eat? Let's, let me see. Not counting the illegal immigrants, there are 300 million Americans. If they all eat five chicken wings each, that will be 1.5 billion wings. But then there are these Americans. <laughs> these ones, they eat chicken wings in buckets in one sitting. <laughs> so it all makes sense. It all makes sense. While chickens are having a tough week in America, women are having a ball. Yeah, the Pentagon has lifted a ban on women going into combat. Mm -hmm. Now they can fight. If you think that the drones were precise before, wait until they acquire this means of asking for direction. <laughs> no one is safe anymore, not even in your bunkers. <laughs> this policy of allowing women to go to the war front will transform not only American military, but also the enemy armies. American enemies are said to be reviewing their defense strategies now. Iran today abolished their nuclear program. In place of that, they are starting a spider breeding program. <laughs> they said, why waste money on nuclear bombs when spiders can win wars for you? Watch what spider can do to a woman in combat. Watch. <laughs> Still on Iran, this week, Iran claimed that they sent a monkey into space. Oh. Well, congrats. The world is asking whether it is real, whether it happened or not, and if the monkey returned intact. I believe I speak for all Nigerians when I say, can they send our own monkeys to space? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that if we beg them well, well, they will send Labra and Mako to space for Ooh. us. <laughs> How many of you here have uh, Twitter accounts? Yeah. Good, good, good. I, got, I have good news for you and bad news. The good news is that you are favored. The what? bad news is that you must retreat. What? Yeah. <laughs> there is no doubt that a Twitter account is a terrible thing to have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. While Facebook will complicate your relationship, mm -hmm. Twitter will turn you into an antichrist. Oh. <laughs> I will pause now for you to delete your account. Come on, do it. I'm waiting. Do it, do it, do it, please. Twitter is so bad that you don't just get in trouble for saying what you are doing. No, 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 no. If you like, announce that you are sleeping with your son's wife. <laughs> your followers will be like, okay, can we join too? <laughs> but once you put your mouth in other people's business, that's when Wahala starts. You see, there was this former Nigerian minister called Madame Du Process. She worked under, under President Jonathan. You understand what I mean? Under President Jonathan. <laughs> the other day, she climbed the anthill of Unsoka and proclaimed that Jonathan and Yaradua squandered $67 billion. Whoa. $67 billion that she and Obasanjo left in Nigeria's foreign reserve. What? It was a serious charge. The Jonathan boys did not like her choice of word, squandered. They would have let it go if she had used the word mismanaged. Mm -hmm. That term mismanaged, Nigerians understand it very well. But squandered makes it look as if someone did something so bad that they can't get away with just $1,500 fine. Oh. <laughs> so Jonathan's attack dogs rushed in. They called the former minister names like undue process, evil stepmother, undone placebo, Devil incarnate. I mean, they threw the whole book on her. Though Obi Ezekwesley was capable of defending herself, a certain Abuja hunk named El Rofai poked his nose into the matter. Mm -hmm. You see, poke is bad. Very, very bad. I'm telling you, that is how you get in trouble. In a Twitter world, liking something is called retweeting. I know some of you are now, you don't know it. So El Rufai liked the joke about the matter so much that he retweeted it. Ah, boom, see trouble. 
This is a joke that I, Dr. Damages, is too scared of repeating on air. But El Rufai did not just retweet the joke, he added laughing out loud. <laughs> God don't catch him. <laughs> now, an apology is full his mouth. He has been writing, I love Jesus, I love Jesus, uh -oh. on a blackboard for hey, 1,000 times. <laughs> the story did not end there. The blogger who sent out that tweet, which El Rufai liked, is in trouble too. Uh -oh. He has been receiving death threats ever since. Hey. This week, he canceled his Twitter account. Whoa. Only because he wrote that if Jesus criticizes Jonathan's government, Maku Abati Okupe will say that he slept with Mary Magdalene. Whoa. <laughs> this, this blogger did not even leave a space between Mary and Magdalene. So how is that possible? <laughs> anyway, to follow Dr. Damages on Twitter, go to hash hash Dr. Damages. Here are the headlines making news in Nigerian newspapers this week. We have spent over 7 billion naira on Mali crisis, says Jonathan. Whoa. Already? Our soldiers are not even there yet. <laughs> and the local women are not yet pregnant for us. Oh. <laughs> EFCC rearrest pension thief for false declaration of assets, says Sahara reporters. Ha! I know support that one. Oh. Next, they go go arrest President Jonathan for doing the same thing. Mbao. <laughs> he wanted to remain in his small Bielsa. They dragged him out overnight, says Pius Anyin on President Jonathan. Now, who are the day? We need to get them. Those people that dragged him out from his small Bielsa. That's right. Can we get them? They made the greatest mistake of this century. Yep, yep. <laughs> Boko Haram agrees to a ceasefire, says Whoa. Vanguard. Not a minute too soon with men preparing an earthquake and drones hovering over Mali. What, what do you expect from Boko Haram? <laughs> <laughs> Nigerian official convicted for stealing $203 million Whoa. gets two years in jail what? or option of $1,500 fine. Hey, no what a lucky bastard. The judge, I mean, the judge. <laughs> <laughs> Catholic pull out of can is dangerous for the body of Christ, says church leader. <laughs> you see, El Rufai says, I was right about the pull out. <laughs> Buhari can't be president, says Joseph Wyas. Wait a minute. Let me go and check his grave again. That man is still alive? Wyas? Nowhere. <laughs> Labraham Maku blast Obi Ezekwesili. David Oyede will blast Lamido Sanusi. <laughs> this is what happens when Boko Haram announces their ceasefire. You know, regular people will start blasting other people. <laughs> Concede presidency to Southeast in 2015, says Ohaneze. <laughs> Pregnant Mumu. Politics 101 says no one ever concedes anything to cry babies. <laughs> Professor Chinedu Nebo vows to drive out witches and demons, hindering electricity su supply. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And the witches responded and said, Who let the beach out? Who? Hey. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your emails. A love letter. Wadada, wadada, love letter. Wadada, wadada, hey. where, where are my PAs? None of them is here. What, what happened to them? Hey, where's the PA? They, again? Yeah. Sorry, folks. We, we can't read the emails today. Until next week, we read your emails. But keep sending them to drdamages at gmail.com. Finally, the Nigerian Super Eagles managed to make it into the second round of the African Cup of Nations. <laughs> yeah. Right. To encourage them, the Nigerian Association of Prostitutes of which uh, I think I'm a member. Am I? Where, where's, where's my card? They are offering free sex to the players if they win. Why is that offer not on the table when I used to play for the... For the anyway, so just to so you know, the super egos and prostitutes are two different groups. 
One group brings out the best play they have as soon as you offer them a prize. The other group is the super egos. <laughs> That's our show for today. Until next week, I am Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.